Forensic Science students. I'm here to talk to you today about forensic photography and your lab that you're going to be doing for the photo lab. Since the invention of the camera, we know that it has been a very invaluable tool to forensic science. Number one, we can take pictures of criminals for identification, their mug shots. Number two, we can take pictures of uh, the crime scene for lasting mementos of all the evidence that we find in a crime scene. We can spend a whole semester, maybe even two semesters, talking about all of the things that we need to do with forensic photography. Okay, you can look at um, shutters and lighting and which camera to use and things like that. We're not going to be doing that in your lab. In your lab, we're going to be looking at photographing three different locations for evidence. And you will be taking three photograph shots of each evidence in different positions. Um, the first photograph you're going to be taking, you're going to be taking photo of something on the floor. Okay, and that evidence on the floor you'll be taking in three different shots. You'll be taking an overall shot, and that overall shot is to orient that piece of evidence at the crime scene in the room. Um, then you'll be taking a 90 degree close-up shot without a measurement device, and that 90 degree will let us um, zero in on that piece of evidence a little bit better, especially if there's fingerprints or blood on it. Uh, then you'll be taking for your third shot of that same piece of evidence uh, a 90 degree shot with somebody holding a uh, measuring device. And that measuring device um, lets us know how big that item is. And we talked about that in class about how they used to use quarters or pens for something to show them the relative size of that piece of evidence. So after you're done with the item on the floor, then you're going to go to uh, evidence on the table. And you'll be photographing the same way, three different shots, the overall, the close-up with 90 degrees, and the close-up with measuring device at 90 degrees. And your last shot will be evidence on the wall. And you'll be doing the same thing with that. Um, I have posted um, your lab sheet that you will be taking all of these photographs that you, you take from your cameras or your cell phones. You'll download those and you'll post them into this Word document that I have on the Cavs Connect. All you have to do is type in your name, type in the class period, and the photo lab is already typed in. Uh, you will be putting these photographs in order from uh, overall shot of evidence on the floor to 90 degrees and 90 degrees with the uh, measuring device. You do the same thing for evidence on the, on the table and evidence on the wall. And you'll, you'll do that in that order, and then you will finally uh, label A, B, and C as evidence on the floor the table and the wall. The answers to your questions for the pre-lab will be due the day of the lab. Uh, so you need to bring those in when you come to lab that day.